Good evening, good evening, Heart Ministry Network viewers. This good is evening. That's Just the Truth Anyhow with the Weathersby's of Sound the Alarm Ministries. I'm Pastor Arthur of Weathersby. I'm Pastor Sherry of Weathersby. You know, Joel 2 1 is the scripture for our ministry. We're crying loud, we're sparing not. Isaiah 58 1 is our primary motto. And if we can't help you, we won't hurt or harm you. Amen. Ain't nothing changed. We welcome you back for another week here on Heart Ministry Network, um, brought to you through uh, Facebook Live, uh, heartministrynetwork.com, mm -hmm. YouTube, and the Roku channel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Father God, we just want to glorify you and thank you, God, and praise you and just give you glory because you alone are worthy to be praised, oh God. Thank you for your forgiveness, God. Oh God, if everything done, said, fell, and thought hasn't been like you in our life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, don't want our lives, the ministry, to be hindered, oh God, interrupted. God, don't want to hurt no one, Father, in the name of Jesus. With God, we just want to thank you for being here with HeartMinistryNetwork.com, Father, TV. In Jesus' name, Father, we thank you for the co-founders, God, pastors, Ken and Brenda Divers, and how you're yet strengthening and keeping them. Father, we thank you, God, for the listeners and the supporters, God, of all the ministry gifts on this platform. Father, God, providing every need, God, hallowed to our soul, God, to our life, according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you for your word that's coming forth. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God, that we will have a listening ear to hear what you, the Spirit, is saying unto us. Oh, God, that we may not only be a hearer, but a doer of your word, oh, God. We thank you for saving someone, God. Hallelujah. Filling them with the precious gift of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for those that are saved, God, that may have backslidden away from you, God. And we all backslide in some kind of way from you every day, Lord. But those that really have fallen off, Heavenly Father, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, they don't see themselves getting back. Oh, God, but Father God, we want to let them know you can get back mm -hmm. with God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Father God, so we pray that you will continue to convict us in your word. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name, oh God, that we may return unto your Father God. Hallelujah. Maintain our salvation in you, Father. Now let the words of our mouth, the meditation in our heart, be acceptable in thy sight, O oh Lord, our strength. Our Redeemer, in Jesus' name, amen. 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 Praise God. We're coming out of the Amplified Bible for the scriptures that I will, will be reading. Mm -hmm. Out of Psalm, the fourth chapter. 84. I'm sorry, Psalm 84, a psalm for the sons of Korah. Amen. Hallelujah. And we're going to start, praise God, at the first verse to the sixth verse. Psalm 84, first through the sixth verses. Amen. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts. My, not, uh, verse 2, my soul, my life, my inner self longs for and greatly desires the course of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for joy to the living God. Verse 3, the bird has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Fourth verse, blessed and greatly favored are those who dwell in your house and your presence. They will be singing your praises all day long. Verse five, blesses the man. I'm sorry. Yes, verse five, blessed and greatly favored is the man whose strength is in you, in whose heart are the highways to Zion. Sixth verse, passing through the valley of weeping Becca. They make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with blessings. Amen. We have written our hearing Psalm 84, first through the six verses. Amen, amen, amen. Truly, as we like to say, and the word of God says it as well, his word is a lamp unto our feet, it's a light unto our path. The steps of a good man, and I like to say one man, are ordered by the Lord, and he delights in their way. We thank God for the reading of the scripture. Amen. We're going to be talking to you um, for the next couple of weeks or for a, about a subject that's titled, There is no other place I'd rather be. There is no other place I'd rather mm. be. But like this year, 2020, has brought forth some great challenges for us in the body of Christ. Amen. Uh, we've had to deal with this here 
uh, global pandemic of the COVID-19 virus. Amen. We've had to deal with social injustice in these United States of America. Mm -hmm. We've had to deal with the weather, uh, the storms that have been engaging. Amen. Yes. Um, the, the tornadoes, the hurricanes, and, and, and all other type of other natural uh, uh, storms and weathers. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, and we've also had to endure, especially on the west coast of the United States of America, brush fires. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that are happening at, at once. And, and one other thing that we've had to endure since COVID-19, mm -hmm. there have been restrictions placed on our movement. Yes. Amen. Yes. And how we n normally go about our day-to-day -day activity. This time last year, we were doing things like normal. Yes. For us. Yes. Normal. Amen. Uh, 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 one of the things that have been impacted tremendously is being able to fellowship in the house of God. Amen. 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 Being able to fellowship in the house of God. Now, some people uh, may not see this as being so significant, but um, God wants us to know that it is vitally important for us as believers in Christ that we have the occasion and opportunity to come and fellowship uh, in the house of God. Amen. Why? Because it's important for us to come together. That's as right. like-minded right. believers Amen. fellowshipping with one another. Yes. Amen. This is how we are able to uh, encourage one another. That's right. Amen. This That's is how right. we are able to come and grow and learn yes. um, um, of God uh, from his house. That's right. Amen. So, so what are we saying? We're saying that as a believer in Christ right about now, I don't know about you, but for us, what we're, what we're feeling in the Holy Spirit is that there's no other place that I'd rather be. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, you know, let's go to Psalm 27, mm -hmm. I think. Let's go to Psalm 27. And I think I'm going to go to Psalm 27, and I think that I'm going to be in verses 4 and 5. That's what I believe. Now, if I'm wrong, I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm in verse 4, mm -hmm. and, and, and this is what it says in the New American Standard Bible. One thing I have asked from the Lord that I shall see that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to meditate in his temple. And I think I'm going to go to verse 5. For in the day of trouble, he will conceal me in his tabernacle. In the secret place of his tent, he will hide me. He will lift me up on a rock. This is why, as believers in Christ, that there ought to be such a yearning, mm -hmm. a longing yes. to be in the house of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, mm -hmm. and, and it's, it's, just, it's just crucial for us. Now, now, some people can say, and I've heard this say by some people who, who have this problem, if you will, uh, with going and fellowship at local churches. Well, you know what? We don't need to really go to a building because God is everywhere. Mm -hmm. And because I am a believer in Christ and I am indwelled with his spirit, mm -hmm. I've got God with me. Mm -hmm. So I can worship and praise God anywhere. I can do that in my home. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. But I think there's somewhere in the Bible where, the Bible where it says, forsake not the mm -hmm. fellowship mm -hmm. of one another. That's right. You say that, don't you? That's right. That's what God's word tells us to do. Mm -hmm. And guess what God says? Your obedience mm -hmm. is better than your sacrifice. That's right. So it's better for us to obey God mm -hmm. than not to obey him. Mm -hmm. Because when you don't obey him, that puts you at odds with him. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, in this day and time, we don't want to be at odds with God. Mm -mm. No, God. Lord, uh -huh. help me, Holy Ghost. So here we are. We're in Psalm 84, verse 1. How lovely are your dwelling places, O Lord of hosts. Mm -hmm. Now, David said, it, it was, I was glad when they said unto me, mm -hmm. let us go into the house of the Lord. Mm -hmm. now, 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 I want you to understand something. I, I, I'm not glorifying. I want you to understand and hear me well. I'm not glorifying the buildings that we are going to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only thing that we're talking about is that the Bible says this. Um, Jesus Christ says this, where you two or three are gathered in my name. That's right. I'll be a God in the midst. And note what he says, are gathered in my name. Mm -hmm. When we go into the house of God, we are gathering there. Mm -hmm. And when we come there, we're, we're ensuring that he's going to be a God in the midst. Mm -hmm. So what we're saying is, how lovely are your dwelling place? Now understand this. Mm -hmm. We know that we're talking, we know that the filling, uh, uh, that the tabernacle 
is what they were referring to back right. here in the Old Testament. Right. But and, and also we know about the places of worship that we attend to today. Right. But I want to share something else with you that the Holy Ghost shared with us as mm -hmm. well, that the dwelling places of God is not just physical. That's right. It's not physical. That's right. The Bible says, know you that your body is the temple of the living God. That's right. Amen. So what we're saying here is, is, is how lovely are your dwelling places? Why are we saying that? We're saying that about ourselves. Yes, we are. Because you know why? I've been fearfully and wonderfully made mm -hmm. That's right. by God himself. Mm -hmm. And anything God does is going to be good. Mm -hmm. So I don't have no problem. I can give honor and glory to God for anything that he, I can make my boast in the Lord. Praise God. I'm not boasting on Arthur. Mm hmm I'm boasting on him. Yes. And I'm saying, how lovely are your dwelling places? Why? Because he made me. Mm -hmm. And he's yet remaking me. Oh, yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. By his spirit. By his spirit. Through the, sancti through the sanctification, mm -hmm. oh, my God, of his word. Yes. Oh, Lord of hosts. That's identifying the sovereignty of God. Yeah, the Lord of armies. Yes. Yes. He's in charge of everything. Hallelujah. He's large and in charge, y'all. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We can have that personal presence. We thank God for the media. Yeah. And, and all those avenues and phone and, you know, all those avenues where we can still get together. Oh, yeah. With one another. There, The Lord is our shepherd and we shall not want. That's right. We lack nothing, y'all. Praise God. Ain't we, we, what we lack is maybe physical contact with one another. Praise God to be able to touch and, you know, greet one another, whatever, fellowship one another. But we're still fellowshipping. That's right. we're still, it hasn't stopped. We may be on the phone. We may be on social media or Facebook, Twitter, whatever. You know, God has uh, uh, allowed that to, to happen, to be set up for his good, not for other things that is being used for. But God has already prepared for us to be able to continue on in him, praise God, and have that, that presence, praise God, because many times, you know, a lot of us, not everybody has equated God's presence with getting into the building. Come on. But God's got a way of checking us in these last and evil days, and thank God for COVID. Don't, you know, we, 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 because everything works together for the good. That's right. Because we love the Lord. God is working all things out, praise God, because I'm telling you, we're, we're finding out exactly where we were with God or where we weren't with God. Amen. Because this thing is real up close and personal now. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're not losing anything. We ought to desire to get in his presence. Even his presence is not so much just being on the phone or whatever, but that personal presence of God. All right. Amen. Well, I'll tell you what, we hold that thought right there. Mm -hmm. We're going to come right back. That's just the truth anyhow with the Wellesby's of Sound Alarm. We're going to pause for a commercial Amen. break. We'll be right back. Amen. Hello, I'm Pastor Vangelis Arthur L. Weathers. And I am Pastor Sherry O. Weathers. Yeah, that's just the truth anyhow with Amen. the Weathers Be brought to you by Heart Ministry Network. You know, we have a program on Wednesdays. That's right, Wednesday, every Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. On Heart Ministry Network and the Roku Network. Amen. You can see us. We hope that you come and join us. And we, we'll be, oh yeah, we're having a great time. All right, be blessed. We do the thing. We do the thing. In, In the, the Lord. Lord. God, God bless you. Bye-bye. We're back just, we're as, back just as we promised. That's just the truth Amen. anyhow with the Weathers Bees. Of sound the alarm is we're continuing on with Psalm 84 and we're talking about there's no other place I'd rather be mm -hmm. my wife has struck a chord when she was talking there right before we took that break amen and and we know that we're talking about um, according to what the scriptures read about the dwelling place of God his his place that that we do our fellowship our local place of worship right. but there's something else that God wants us to know by the Holy Ghost that's more important than just just going to the building amen what the longing should be and where where we really should be saying there's no other place I'd rather be and that is in God's presence yes amen yes. that's the desire that it should be coming forth from every believer in Christ mm -hmm. to be in the presence of God in the essence of God, mm -hmm. because that's where our strength and our power comes from. Yeah. Amen. So, so verse two says, oh my God. Yeah. Uh, Psalm mm -hmm. 84, two says, I, my soul long mm -hmm. and even yearn for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh sing for, for joy to the living God. Now see, this is, this, this supports what I just said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My soul long. When your soul is longing for God is, is thirsting. Oh, you know, oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. Psalm 42. Mm -hmm. Psalm 42. Watch this. Mm -hmm. Verse 1. 
as as the deer pants for the water brooks, mm -hmm. so my soul pants for you, O oh, God. God. Verse 2. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? That's what I'm talking about, about mm -hmm. being in God's presence. One yes. of, uh, we should have a longing yes, to be yes. with God. Hallelujah. Now, I know that we ain't in no Thank great hurry Jesus. to get up out of this Hallelujah. here life here. Mm -hmm. I know we ain't in no real great hurry to do that. Uh, uh, we know it's coming. It's inevitable because there's a time to be born. There's a time to die mm -hmm. from the dust we came and from the dust we shall return. But the truth of the matter is, in my soul, in my spirit, I long to, to be in the pre the presence of God. Yes. Once again. Yes. What you say, Pastor? What do you mean, once again? That's right, once again. What are you talking about? You, mm -hmm. you talking about some reincarnation stuff here? Mm -hmm. No. I'm talking about the relationship that we have with God from the very, very beginning. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I know. Yeah, come on. Let mm -hmm. us go. Let us go. Let us go to the prophet Jeremiah, mm -hmm. the first chapter, and I'm going to pick up at the fourth verse, and I'm going to end with that fifth verse, mm -hmm. and this is what it says. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, verse 5, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, mm -hmm. and before you were born, mm -hmm. I consecrated you. Mm -hmm. I have appointed you a prophet to the nations. The word of God is telling you and I, as he told Jeremiah, mm -hmm. that before we came into this world, right. God already knew us. Knew us. Yes. He had already determined, uh, predestined and foreordained what we were going to become. Whatever it is that God has called and anointed and appointed you to be, that was already done That's before right. you even got formed in your mama's womb. And he said, know this, I formed you in the womb. Amen. And he said, I knew you. Now, here's where we, here's where we gain a, 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 a greater understanding, if you will, and an enlightenment, mm. if you will, of God's word and what I just said to you earlier. God knew us mm -hmm. before we were created in the flesh. That's right. And the That's Bible right. says that God is a spirit. That's right. So if God knew us, he could not have known us in an earthly fashion. No, he didn't. He had to know us from a spirit in the spirit realm. That's right. And he's a spirit. That's right. And the Bible says we were created in his image. That's right. So guess what? He knew us because we, before we became flesh, we were spirit. Yes. That's why That's David right. said, I long. I long. Because he had already, he already ordained us to be what he had called us to be. Mm -hmm. Ordained us to do what we were called to do. But he also um, blessed us to have that longing. For him, we were already created to have a desire. That's right. For him, oh my God, this is so this is so good though. Yeah, we came through, you know, our mother's womb and you know whatever, and had to exist on the earth. But we got to remember where we really came from. Praise God. Everything that's in us to long for Him is there. That's right. Already there. That's he right. made sure. All we have to do now that we're here on the earth in this fleshly body is draw. Draw from that spiritual of us. Draw from that new creature. Draw from that new nature. That's him. That's right. We have to draw from that. That longing. That ain't us in the flesh. That's us in the spirit. That's right. Amen. So therefore, there is no other place I'd rather be. Oh, my God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. The bird also has found a house and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young. Even your altars, O Lord of hosts. So, so, so watch what it says here. The bird has found a place in the nest. The swallow, I mean, yeah, the swallow a nest for herself and where she may lay her young. Even your altars have a place, oh Lord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So guess what? We have a place too. That's right. That's symbolic. Our place is in who? It's in Jesus yeah, Christ. That's symbolic. Sparrow. That's right. Bird, symbolic. Yes, that's yes. right. We have a place of rest. Yes, And we it's do. in Jesus Christ. As yes. a matter of fact, there's an ultimate place that we're going to have, and, and God is going to bring us into that place of rest, yes. back with him. Yes. And so an there, that's yes, right. Lord. So so there's no other place that I'd rather be mm. than in the presence of God, yes. in the absolute essence of God. That, oh that God. place where he is our, our ex exceeding joy. Yeah. That place where the chilly winds don't blow. Hallelujah. Ooh. Praise God. That Ooh. place of peace. 
that place, hallelujah, we can go there. We can be yeah, there. Yeah, we can. At, actually, while we're talking, I'm right there I'm with him. I'm feeling you. Lord, have mercy. He's, <laughs> yeah, Lord. We're right with him. <laughs> Woo. You're looking at us on the outward, but you don't really see the true me. Hallelujah. I'm with the Lord right now. Praise God. Feasting at his table. Enjoying his company. Though I have him, but I'm in a greater company, y'all. This thing is all right. There's no other place I'd rather be. This joy I have. This joy I have. The world didn't give it, and the world can't take it away. Yes, That's right. Yes. The joy that I have joy, is, is that I have. The, the world didn't give it, yes. it, can't take it away. The joy of the Lord is my yeah, strength. Yeah, yeah. Because why? It's in his presence. It's the Hallelujah. fullness of, of God. Ooh, Lord. And on fullness his right hand, all those pleasures, mm -hmm. pleasures of joy, pleasures of hope, pleasures, just enjoying Jesus, enjoying Jesus with one another forevermore. That forevermore means we're going to enjoy pleasures with him in eternity when he comes back to get us. Amen. Now watch what it says here in verse 4. All right. How blessed are those who dwell in your house. Mm -hmm. They Amen. are, watch this, ever, ever. praising you. Oh non my stop, God. We just stop. got through, had a little exaltation there for, before we got to that verse. <laughs> and, 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 and God says, how blessed are those who dwell in, in my house. Those that dwell in me, that dwell in my presence, you're blessed. Oh my God, you don't know blessed how blessed you best. are when you're in the yeah. presence of God. Yeah, because yeah, even yeah. though we may be in this here body and we may go on through and experience what we're experiencing in this world, I'm blessed mm -hmm. because I'm in the presence of God. I'm blessed because I'm in his dwelling place. I, I am his dwelling place. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm mm -hmm. blessed that I am his dwelling place mm -hmm. because he is dwelling in me. And guess what? I dwell in him. Jesus Christ said, if you abide in me mm -hmm. and you abide in my word, mm -hmm. I will abide in you. Mm -hmm. So, shall, you know, that, that's, how he, that's how he does it. Mm -hmm. But you have to do something. That's right. You got to obey my commandments that's right. and follow my instructions. That's right. To keep that that union, mm -hmm. to keep God abiding within you. That's right. So my God, oh my God. So keep on singing. When you're singing, when you're in the presence of someone who's due all the praise, mm -hmm. all the glory, yeah. all the honor. I mean, you don't have to be in a stationary place to be in His presence. Praise God, because He's already in us. Sing that song. He, you, the, you do all the praise. You all the glory. You mm -hmm. the glory. You deserve the glory and the honor. Come on. Lord, I lift my hands in worship mm -hmm. and bless your holy name. You deserve the glory, all the honor. Lord, we lift our hands in worship and bless your holy name. Why? For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's yes, no Lord. other place that I'd Hallelujah. rather be. Uh -huh. Thank verse you, five. God. Verse five mm -hmm. says, How blessed is the man whose strength is in you, mm -hmm. whose heart are the highways to Zion. That's what I'm talking about, Lord wait. God Almighty. There's no other place I'd rather be. I'm blessed because my strength is in God. Yes. It ain't in man. It ain't yes. in. It ain't in the president of the United States. It ain't in the president the elect of the United States. If, if, if Joe Biden happens to be him, Amen. My strength is in God. Because that's where I get my strength from. It's in him that I live, move, and have my being. And whose heart are the highways to Zion. Oh, my God, yeah. You know, I'm, 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 we're, on a, we're on a stairway to heaven. Yes. Amen. In this life right now. We're living yes. right now. But I'm on yes. a stairway to heaven. Yes. Because yes. I'm living my life uh, um, to get from earth to glory. To glory. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. and, and and also recognizing that Jesus Christ is gonna take me there. You know, uh, the, the 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 staple singers had a song talking about I got I know a place, mm -hmm. and then I'll take you there. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you, ain't nobody gonna take me the way I need to go but Jesus Christ because He said in my Father's house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. You know the story. And then He says in in, in the sixth verse of John fourteen chapter, mm -hmm. He says that. I am the the way, mm -hmm. the truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Yes. No one 
comes to the Father unless you come through me. And how do I come through me? Because I'm in his presence. He mm -hmm. dwells in me. I dwell in him. And, oh, my God, he's taking me there all the way. Verse Praise 6. God. Passing through the valley of Baca, mm -hmm. they make it a spring. The early rain also covers it with blessings. Oh, my God. You know, that getting back to that house of place of worship. Mm -hmm. You know what that early rain is? Mm -hmm. That's the that's the first dew of the morning, and, yes. and and you know for so those of us that have this in our in our fellowship, our places of worship, um, Sunday school, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sunday school would be the early rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah other morning, morning. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good that's a good thing to have. Amen. In the Lord, there is no other place that I'd rather be. No other place. No other place that I'd rather be. Mm -mm. I'm telling you, I don't care what's going on. I don't care. Um, you know, we want to go to uh, people looking at. Uh, uh, vacations and things like that, you know, with all the stuff that's been going on, mm -hmm. which they could go here and they may have something on their wish list. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to tell you the truth. There's no other place I'd rather be than in the presence of God because all of this stuff, heaven and earth, the Bible says, will fade. Yeah, it's going to pass away. away. Yeah. i tell you what. You hold that thought and because and, 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 we're going to come back at you next week with part two of this Amen. to conclude this. And that's just the truth anyhow with the Weathersby's of Sound Amen. the Alarm Ministry. Amen. I'm Pastor Arthur and Weathersby. I'm Pastor Sherry Weathersby. You know when it is being, it has been done from the heart. It is being, it has been done right. Mm -hmm. Till we come back at you next week, guess what? We oh, yeah, do we the do the thing. In the Lord. In the Lord. God, God bless you. Bye-bye.